Hello everybody. Today I'm working on a coffin shaped lantern box for Halloween. I'm using a uh, fence picket from a big box store. It's five eighths inch thick and six foot long, five and a half inches wide pine. For the casket shape, I'm using a uh, cutout I got from uh, the Dollar Tree last year. I'm not sure they sell them this year, but I had some leftovers. Decided to use that as my template, which I drew onto the board here. And I'm cutting it off, and the board's only five and a half inches wide. And my my coffin is six and a quarter. So I have to add this little piece here to the side that's missing and for finish drawing out the, the pattern. As you see here, I just glue and brad nail this onto the side, let it dry. If they're still not selling them at Dollar Tree this year, you can just make two of these uh, cutouts and uh, you know scroll fall on whatever design you want on the front. I'm just going to use this as my front, but this is my back. Then once that is dry, I finish cleaning it up, finishing the cuts to make it the coffin shape. And there it is. Now for the side, I ripped it at uh, three inches. You can go down to about two and a half. I wouldn't go much lower than that. It gets a little wobbly. But I just picked three inches. And uh, here's the little wonky part. This is angled at uh, 35 degrees. And I don't have a miter saw, so I had to do this on the table saw. So this is what's a little wonky. I wouldn't suggest this without more bracing or a bigger, bigger angle to do it. But miter saw a lot easier even a hand saw there are two long pieces and two short pieces on each side I cut the 35 degrees on the end of each piece the longs and the shorts I'll have full measurements later on in the video I'll have pictures later on in the video with uh, angles and measurements on this but I cut the long inches at uh, 8 inches with uh, 80 degree cut on the end and the short pieces at 4 inches with the nerf 65 degree cut at the end to make them level with the top and the bottom and then you put them on here and you leave five eighths at the top and bottom for the for the lid and the, the bottom piece so it'll be within the casket pattern also throw up a pattern also so that uh, people can download it if they don't have this thing they download it and use that as a uh, for the size if you go into production with this you would definitely want to make a jig piece of plywood with some uh, brace pieces in here to hold the bottoms the sides in the correct position so you just lay the the back on here and nail it in. Use glue and brad nail would be a lot easier too. I don't have a brad nailer so I use hammer and nails. I don't believe I videotaped it but I did also then nail the the two side pieces together at the joint right there. The, the 35 degree cut joint help brace it even better if you're not subscribed and uh, you like this content uh, most people to watch my videos are not subscribed and help me out a little bit any likes and comments also help I would appreciate it thank you And here I am nailing on the front the piece I got from Dollar Tree when they sold them last year. I haven't checked this here to see if they're still selling them, but you could also duplicate the back and just scroll saw or tick saw or however you want to put a face or design on there. Here I am fitting the lid. Put a piece a little longer than four inches on there and marked it off and cut the angles. I believe they're 65 degrees and uh, just trimmed it up that way. I'm trimming it up a little bit, make it cleaner. Playing most of that on not using a jig and having hammer and nails to do it. Moved a little bit of alignment there. Quick trim up, cleans everything up. Throw another little piece here. 
on top of the, the lid just to make it a little easier to take it on and off. I did go back and put some uh, sawdust and glue and fill in a, the, the holes and did a light sanding. It's wanted to leave it more rustic so it didn't sand real smooth. But uh, here's what it looks like after it's done, construction-wise. That sprayed inside with some white paint to just make the tea light reflect a little bit better. I painted the outside straight black. Just gave it a quick spray. And here's what it looks like when it's completely done. No need sitting next to it. I'll have some pictures of uh, the tea light going on too.